Hi, welcome everybody again. Welcome to Echo Family. Uh, okay, so Echo Films also. That's me. Okay, so on a serious note again, Christian persecution. Like, I'm sorry, but it's a thing and it's happening 24 hours a day. Just off the top of my head, at least 1,300 Nigerian Christians have been slaughtered mercilessly um, this year alone. We're only in August. Like, I, I think that's a matter worth bringing to the attention of you, Christians, and also non Christians and the general public. However, the mainstream doesn't agree with me, unfortunately. So, in Syria, according to uh, a pastor that has been spoken to by uh, Persecution of the Law, International Christian Concern, 14 Kurdish uh, youths from the Syrian city of Afrin were kidnapped by Turkish backed Syrian militants. Each of these youths were a Christian convert, that's the only thing they shared apart from their nationality. Other reports have claimed uh, different higher numbers. Regardless, uh, this news is not necessarily unexpected, the report goes on to say. Turkey's invasion of Afrin in 2018 was nothing less than a genocide, that's a direct quote. It was an ethnic cleansing of the local Kurdish community. Uh, on top of this, a number of local Kurds had also converted to Christianity and were worshipping freely in Afrin. So you may remember last week or the week before, I spoke about a Kurdish man who had uh, had he was a headmaster, he, he was kidnapped, um, and they demanded that he give over the school to become an Islamic uh, center of education, something like that. He said, uh, only if Jesus comes back. So, the invasion was pursued with strong Islamic overtones, and thus the church found themselves targeted both for being Kurdish and for being Christian, so they're doubly persecuted. The news of Turkish backed militants kidnapping Christians in Afrin. Uh, follows news that they had been they had arrested a convert on charges of blasphemy so that's the guy I was referencing and that was at the end of July in that particular case members of Philak al-Sham had ordered the convert to turn over his school so it could be repurposed as an Islamic educational institution and when he refused he was then ar arrested on trumped up blasphemy charges it's not a blasphemy to refuse to give over a school that does not belong to you that you're in the like it's in your charge that's not blasphemy Turkey was heavily invested um, and is heavily invested in the Syrian conflict by providing funds and other resources to militant groups there. And these groups are all widely recognised, um, like globally, internationally, as terrorist organisations. Many have connections to ISIS, uh, who you may have heard of, or Al Qaeda. Turkey is a NATO member and candidate for EU membership. Um, but as the actions of Turkey and Syria suggest, religious freedom is not a priority for Turkey. As we know, the, uh, like very recently, a museum that was formerly a church is now a mosque. Also, another uh, smaller church has been repurposed as a mosque. So we know that Turkey uh, does not have the interests of Christians, let us say, at its heart. If they truly desire to become a, a member of the European Union without going into politics too much, um, I actually believe that their agenda would fit in lovely with the EU, but I'm not the EU's biggest fan. I don't like the European Court of Human Justice upholding blasphemy laws. Uh, Europe does. There, there, there is no place for blasphemy laws, I don't believe, as a Christian who uh, very much dislikes blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, as the Bible tells me. I still don't think somebody should be convicted or have a criminal record because of that, because freedom of speech must be preserved. Because if you say that you can't say this, the next thing you can't say that. And the people who are arbitrate, the, the um, arbiters of what is decent and correct, as you may see in the background, I don't know, there's a lady there who had her poster removed for giving a dictionary definition of a woman. So whilst Muslims and Christians agree that God made man and woman, and equally or unequally, uh, we know that that's what he created, God. Uh, so yeah, I don't think that any blasphemy laws are Valid. They're, they're not able to be validated unless the person's literally saying Jehovah, Jehovah, like life of Brian. Um, anyone can accuse anybody else and it's just a, a witch hunt of uh, Matthew Hopkins proportions. So I'm going to stop ranting right now because I love you all and I don't want to do that to you. But please do come and see me on Parlour, K Psycho Films. Come and see JC, uh, Psycho Films UK on Parlour. Also subscribe, like, comment, share, repent, pray, uh, turn to Jesus if you haven't already. If you have, turn back again and have a little look and double check what it says in the Bible. It's a really good book, best selling book in the world. Um, yeah, I'm not your mum. Please do so. 
uh, lots of love. Thank you.